What's up guys, this is Jason. Welcome. So today I'm going to share something with you guys that I haven't done yet. I want to make something sweet that can make your day better. Before proceeding, I have a question for you guys. Have you ever tried making a cake for a special occasion or someone's birthday? If you're not a professional baker, I'm pretty sure you somehow struggle with decorating a cake. It is a lot harder than it looks. I have failed decorating cakes so many times. It was delicious, but visual-wise, it was just so-so. So today, I want to share with you guys a perfect replacement for a cake. Not only it is as good as cakes, but also decorative as cakes. We are making strawberries and blueberries tarts. The recipe is so easy, I promise you there is going to be no failure. Also, I didn't put that much sugar into the pie crust, and as well as the cream, because I actually wanted to taste the strawberries and blueberries. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is a savory pie, it is still sweet, but if you are a hardcore sweet dessert fan, add a little bit more sugar to the crust and as well as the cream. Alright, first thing first, of course we have to make the pie crust first. Combine 100 grams of ice water, 5 grams of salt, 20 grams of sugar. Stir and set it aside. Like I said, if you love sweet, add extra 30 grams of sugar. Alright, once that's done, onto the work surface, mix 400 grams of all-purpose flour, 250 grams of butter. Using bench scrapers, cut butter into tiny, tiny pieces, then add ice water mixture and make a one big mess. A key to making a flaky pie crust is keeping the butter nice and cold. I'm not really sure what it means by keeping the butter nice, but keep the butter cold. In order for us to keep the butter cold, we have to get this job done as fast as we can so butter doesn't melt. Spend no more than one minute on this. It's okay if it's not perfect, we are going to roll it out anyway. So once that's done, cover it with plastic wrap and let it rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes. After at least 30 minutes, the pie crust should be cold and firm. Sprinkle some flour on the work surface and using your rolling pin, roll it out into about half centimeter thick. One mistake I made was I should have divided the pie crust first, then roll it. As you can see, it gets messy and I kinda had to puzzle the pie crust pieces. So before putting the pie crust into the fridge, make sure you divide the crust individually. Second time I made it, it was so much easier. Also, since the pie crust has so much fat in it, we don't need to put parchment paper or butter the pan. That makes our life a little bit easier. Once the first one is done, repeat the same process for the second pie. After lining pie crust on the pie pan, trim the edges then put aluminum foil and cover with dry beans. Beans. You'll be like, beans. Yeah, that's right. Pie crust has really high fat content, so when we bake in the oven, sides of the pie crust will melt and slump. Another issue is pie crust will pop up in the center, so with the beans, we can apply pressure on the center so the pie crust can stay nice and flat. And in case if you don't have dry beans, you can use white sugar, salt, and rice as well. Right now, being very careful, transfer the pie crust into the oven. At 375 degrees, we are going to bake for 15 minutes covered, and after 15 minutes, take them out, remove beans, uncover aluminum foil, and bake for another 20 minutes until it is crusty and golden brown. For the remaining crust, you can store it in the fridge and use it next time. Otherwise, just roll it out again and either make another pie or mini version using a muffin pan. Let the pie crust cool completely. In the meantime, we're going to make the cream. In a mixing bowl, combine 8 ounces of cream cheese, 70 grams of sugar, and zest of one orange. Oh, lemon zest works fantastic as well. And also, as I mentioned before, if you like extra sweet, add more sugar into the cream. Using a stand mixer or hand mixer, whisk everything together and slowly add 160 grams or about 3 quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Let them mix at high speed for 30 seconds and the cream is done. Use it right away or store it in the fridge. Once that's done, wash 1.5 pounds of strawberries and 1 pound of blueberries. Pat them dry on kitchen towels and make sure there's no remaining water on them. Okay, now we're almost done. We're going to spread the cream on the crust and top it with strawberries and blueberries. If you have blackberries or other fruits, use that, but make sure strawberries and blueberries are included. In my opinion, they are the best. Finish by brushing simple syrup, which is 30 grams of sugar and 30 grams of water. Bring it to boil and simply brush them to make our pies even shinier. I think the contrast between strawberries and blueberries is very satisfying. It looks awesome, tastes awesome. Like I said, it is so much easier than making cakes. So if you have any special occasion coming up, try it. You'll not regret it. Alright, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you next time.